In this episode of Akram's Ideas, I'm going to show you how to make these adorable throw pillows, so stay tuned! Hello and welcome! I'm Akram Tagavi Burris, and you're watching Akram's Ideas, bringing creative and crazy ideas to life. In this episode of Akram's Ideas, I'm going to show you how to make a pair of these adorable throw pillows. And I actually made a tutorial on how to make these pillows several years ago on my blog. Um, which I'll put the link in the uh, comments below, but it's been some time since I made that tutorial. And recently, when my sister asked me to make her some throw pillows for her little window seat in her kitchen, I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to uh, update the tutorial with a how-to video. So to make the pair, and there are two of these pillows, it's actually pretty easy. Um, there are only two seams that you need to sew up on the pillowcase itself, and it takes very few supplies. Uh, you will need, obviously, your throw pillow, and in my case, what I've done, and I'm actually going to show you the process, is I used a single standard size pillow um, and turned it into two throw pillows. And for the pillowcase itself, you're going to need three-fourths to one yard of fabric. It's really going to be determined by the lengths of your throw pillow. And in this tutorial, we are going to be making a rectangular style uh, throw pillow. So with that said, let's get started. To make the throw pillows themselves, basically I took a standard pillow and I cut it in half. And then I pinned along the bottom open cut edge of each half and very strategically, I sewed this with the sewing machine. Obviously, you get this weird kind of stitch. I did about a 3 8 inch uh, seam allowance. Sometimes it gets a little longer, sometimes it gets a little shorter, um, just because it's hard to push the pillow through the sewing machine. This is probably not the best way to do it, but it's the quickest and easiest way. And I don't really care about this raw edge because it's going to be inside the pillowcase. And I'm not really too concerned about the stitch or the pillow coming apart. Um, it's not going to get a lot of wear and tear. It's, it's a decorative throw pillow. So um, unless you're concerned about um, maybe a pet or a child playing around with it, then I would definitely say you'd probably want to clean up your seams and maybe even baste it before you sew it. Uh, maybe even hand stitch it. But for my purposes, I know it's not the prettiest, but it works and it's cheaper than having to buy throw pillows when you can get uh, one standard pillow. I think it costs about five fifty five five six dollars um, and I got two pillows for that price. We're going to start our pillowcase project by taking your fabric and folding it in half along the width. Now I have 45 inch length or 45 inch width wide fabric and I folded it in half here so that gives me about 22 inches of fabric. You'll also notice that I included the salvage in that because that's actually part of the 45 inches. Now it's going to be on the inside of the pillowcase, so I'm not really concerned about having that show. Uh, ultimately, if you wanted to, you could cut the salvage off, fold your fabric widthwise, and then uh, make other cuts and whatnot. Now, whatever you do, you're going to need to make sure that you have enough width for your folds and the uh, pillow. Now, my pillow is about 16 to 18 inches wide, and I want to get a really full pillowcase. So if I make the pillowcase a little, a little snug, I can really shove the pillow in there and get it really fluffy. Um, we're going to do a couple of folds, which you'll see here in a moment, uh, that are going to take up the rest of that, um, those four inches or so that are extra on this width. 
As for the lengths, you're going to want to, again, measure your uh, pillow, and my pillow is about 12 inches tall. And in this scenario, we're going to go ahead and I've cut my pillowcase at 13 and a half inches tall. And this uh, is going to ultimately have a 3 8 inch uh, seam, the two seams that we're going to sew around the pillowcase. And that is going to be quite enough for this project. It's going to give us the most length uh, inside here and it's going to allow us to use less fabric than if we had a standard 5 8 inch uh, seam allowance. The last little thing that I want to make mention of are the raw edges. And for most part, the raw edges are going to be on the inside. You don't have to worry about that. But I do have a little bit of fraying on the salvage here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure again that my fabric is folded correctly. And basically, I'm just going to go ahead and use my uh, pinking shears here uh, to go ahead and cut along this edge just so I don't get any unnecessary ravels and I'm going pretty close about a quarter inch or so um, from that raw edge and you can get the underside of it as well alright now that I've got my raw edges taken care of I've unfolded the width wise of the fabric here and the way I came up with this pattern is I just kind of played around with some fabric origami and folded the fabric a couple of times until I came up with a solution that worked best. And for me, this is how it worked, is that I came over here to the edge of the fabric and I determined that I want to fold it in about nine inches. So I come over here, so that's about right there, and I'm going to fold it over. And then I'm going to go back and measure it and make sure that I've got this correct. So this is about, oh, it needs to be pulled over a little more. There we go. So now you can see that I've got it folded over about 9 inches and you want to make sure that you've got the same measurement all the way up and down. Do -do -do. So that's correct. And so now what you're going to do is you're just going to fold it back on itself. So that's going to give you about five and a half inches on the fold here. Just like so. And it's kind of hard to tell, but here's my fold. And so here you can see this is the inside of the fabric, this is the outside of the fabric. And I folded in nine inches, again I folded in nine inches, and then I'm going to fold back over along itself. Just like that. Then along this fold here, I'm going to go ahead and pin it just at the fold. And I'm not pinning to the underside of the fabric here. So now we've got this side pinned. I'm also going to go ahead and pin the fold down on the other side so that it stays in place when we work on the other, um, other end of our pillowcase. Now for the other end, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and flip our fabric over to the wrong side. So this is going to be the inside of the pillowcase here. And basically what we're going to do over here is we're going to take our raw edge and we're going to come in about an inch and a half. And again, I'm going to take my tape measure and measure this. So that is about an inch. Oops. That is an inch and a half there. And again, you're going to want to make sure that you've got it, and it's an inch and a half there. And so again, I'm going to want to pin along this fold. Next, we're going to want to flip the fabric back over and we're going to kind of just kind of line up our um, 
ends here. We're going to go back over to this end where the nine inches was. And I'm going to unfold or unpin this these corner bits here. So they were just there to stabilize the fabric as we flipped it over. Uh, but now what I'm going to want to do is I'm just going to kind of come to the center point of my pillow and I'm going to take my one and a half here and I'm going to come and put that over the end of the fold and I'm just going to kind of look to where everything is lined up centered wise. So I'm just going to pull it until the fabric looks like it's centered or where my folds look like they're centered on the pillowcase. So again, I'm going to want to bring this so that it's on top of here. And that looks pretty good there. And you don't have to be perfect. Again, it doesn't matter if it's a little asymmetrical. So at this point, I've got my pins here and everything. We're going to pin up the top and bottom of our pillowcase. And that is the two seams that you have to sew. So I'm just going to come in here and pin these just like so. And you don't need a lot of pins. The fabric's pretty stable. You might, depending on where you took the other pin, where you pinned your other pins on the fold, you might have to remove them but make sure that you keep your folds in place. You're going to want to sew your side seams at a two and a half stitch length at three eighth inch uh, seam allowance. So now we're going to take it over to the sewing machine and sew up the side seams. And basically I'm just going to go ahead and start it. And remember you want to back stitch. Remember to take out your pins as you go. And you're going to want to sew all the way to the end, and you're going to want to back stitch. You're going to want to trim off your ends, and then you're going to go ahead and sew the other seam. Once you've got your side seams sewn at the top and bottom, you're going to go ahead and take any pins that were on those middle folds off. And basically your pillowcase is done. You're going to go ahead and flip it over, making sure that you uh, give a good push in the corners to get the corners nice and crisp. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Yes press in the corner and the other corner here and there it is there's your pillowcase if we take a look at the back here there is our envelope fold and um, it may bow a little bit right now but it's meant to have a big fluffy pillow in it so um, don't be surprised if you pick it up and the back kind of droops out a little bit like that uh, so there it is, two seams and you're good to go. Now all that's left to do is go ahead and put our pillows inside of them. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Akram's Ideas. And if you'd like to see more Learn to Sew uh, tutorials like this one, uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know what you guys look forward to seeing. And as always, don't forget to follow us on social media or subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.